first you have to take a deep breath, right? Breathe in. Fill your lungs up with air. And then put your mouth over here tight and blow it as hard as you can, okay? Like you blow up candles on a cake, okay? Very good. It was on her third birthday party that she first had her asthma attack. At the time, I was breathing hard, and it felt like butterflies was coming out of my stomach because it was just really scary for me. Take some deep breaths in and out. Like so many other children in her Harlem neighborhood, 11-year-old Charisma Hunt has asthma, and she spends a lot of time in her doctor's office. The prevalence rate of asthma in New York City, in central Harlem in particular, is about four times the national average. While doctors don't know exactly why asthma rates are higher in many inner city neighborhoods, they can treat the disease. And Charisma has her asthma under control thanks to regular medication and a routine to cut down on dust and mold in her apartment. I used to stay out like a lot and stay home because of my asthma. And it would be like maybe for a week or two weeks, but now my attendance is really good. Asthma is caused by an inflammation of the airways, and it is often triggered by environmental allergens like dust and mold. Mercedes Shelton is a 22-year-old with severe allergy-induced asthma. Just have to make everything squeaky clean so we can live a normal life. <laughs> Mercedes has learned to keep her home as dust-free as possible and her once debilitating allergy-induced asthma is now largely under control. At New York City's Morgan Stanley Children's Hospital, she gets immunotherapy, more commonly known as allergy shots, four injections per visit to Dr. Robert Feldman. And my recollection is that we really haven't had any problems in terms of having any reactions to these injections. No. Okay. Immunotherapy doesn't work on food allergies or for patients with non-allergy-related asthma, but it has changed Mercedes' life so far. If you find that you're near animals, do you think that since we've been treating you for dogs and cats, you've had less trouble when you've been around them? Actually, my friends have dogs and cats, and um, I haven't sneezed or you know scratched my eyes or nothing. Mercedes still takes daily anti-inflammatory medication, but she is no longer dependent on her jet nebulizer. There are a lot of people that take even more medicine than I do. They have a much harder, uh, much more difficult asthma than I do. Yeah, I do imagine the day that I won't have to think about using medicine. I mean, who doesn't? It's a dream. <laughs> take some deep breaths again. Charisma Hunt is not a candidate for immunotherapy at the moment because her asthma symptoms are kept under control with daily medications. For many people, asthma can be a lifelong condition, but it can be managed. Charisma's mother is hopeful that emergency room visits are a thing of the past. There's times I was up at night a lot with her, um, watching her to see if she's breathing. <laughs> You know, um, been in my ear to see if she was okay, you know. So it was scary. It was scary. I don't panic anymore. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm, I'm very I'm comfortable now. I feel, I understand it more, you know, the preventive and everything. So I'm very at ease now. Yeah. Good doctor. <laughs> you have a good team. He's a good doctor. Very good.